Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, a selection of rocks, in fact, out in the wilds of space, but not just these asteroids, not anymore. We have our own space colony. Well, I mean, it's not really a space colony. It's just Plank out on a, out on a rocket, doing his best to pick up a whole bunch of cobalt ore, a bunch of other stuff coming along with it as well but all of this in preparation for Irigal. Irigal is the place that we are taking over right now we are trying to make this place as comfortable for the duplicants as possible and so far we have been crammed crammed into the corner over here I wonder if anyone's actually going to come along and deconstruct this uh, and I think it's time to 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 start making that not a thing we, we don't want to be cramped in here we want to be spread out across this entire asteroid but to do that we need to move these poke shells they're, they're a little bit aggressive and indeed it's the reason why uh, Spitzer when we turned up just got out of the triage cot because he had taken quite the severe bashing from them okay we can't actually I was, I was gonna be like all right let's make, make ourselves a new door over here but it turns out that we are missing um, aluminium or any ore in fact that's the big problem that we've got right now uh, and this is indeed a problem we're gonna deconstruct that as well I'm gonna try and move this power transformer down here it was overheating in the vacuum of course it was. There was nothing to take the heat away. The lack of ores, of course, being the reason why uh, Plank is out here on the Swampy Ore Field right now, so that we can get on with more stuff like that. But we, we we need we need to do something to collect all these poke shells together. When they are around their eggs here, you can see this guy is taking on a bit of a, a redder colour. Like this this guy is pretty red. Look at his angry eyes, angry angry eyes, because they got this protecting status, and that means that they will try and stop any duplicate getting anywhere near their eggs. I. I I understand. I understand the impulse. I can. I can really like get behind it as a survival trait for a species. But it's quite awkward. It's. It's causing me some trouble. Talking of causing me some trouble. All this sand is going to cause me some trouble. But that, that, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is try and make my way over into this little cavern over here, which is going to be like way above all our other stuff. I was even considering going higher up, but this. 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 This box. This cave is like just here, waiting for us. So I'm going to make use of that, and we're just going to dump all the pinch rows in we can. Hopefully, yeah, we got a storage bin but I'd rather use an automatic dispenser we need 400 kilograms of ore and of course that is coming from here oh, that's 20 no oh, no no it needs 20 to repair it's 200 that's that's not great okay I found some more aluminium but it's all the way over the other side of the right this is where my duplicates are we need to come over here uh, and the priorities are kind of low over here if we have a look at the digging I mean they're on seven and if I go up to nine he's still not going to do it because Hubble's priorities are elsewhere but we can uh, we can make it happen we can make it happen so Hubble at the moment would rather cook, so that that should be something we like try and um, fix at some point. Do we do we want this next person to come in? Medicine decrease Hubble. I, th I think we could do. I think actually we found Compton. I, th I think it's spelt like that. Hold on, let me let me double check on the internet. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Compton, the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory, uh, named after, oh, what, what was his name? Harry Compton, something like that. Arthur Compton, sorry. Uh, did a lot of work in how X-rays, uh, not X-rays, sorry, gamma rays and X-rays, in fact, scatter inner material. So, uh, you know, rather fitting, rather fitting. Hopefully, he's going to come along and help out here. I don't know what priorities, well, actually, we, we do know what priorities he's being given here. Cooking, bam, 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 bam. Other than that, I don't know. Let's bring Hubble's cooking priorities down uh, and we'll, we'll just leave him at low priority for the digging and operating. It's of course quite a run for Compton to be doing uh, at his first first little outing here. I bet his athletics zero. Like how's he even gonna survive? How are you getting back? How are you getting back? I, I don't know. I don't know because he's gonna have to run all this way with this much oxygen. Yeah and, and off he goes and off he goes. Oh Hubble he made himself fall down there. That's kind of fun. Oh, in fact, now that we are cooking with Compton, I bet I bet we don't actually need to have it up on a super high priority. I bet we can do other things. What 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 are you doing right now? Recovering breath? Yeah, dig. Look at that, beautiful stuff over here though. Oh, these two. Okay, yeah, fair. I wish it gave you a notification when the rocket was done 
filling up its cargo bay. Uh, is it the drill cone? In fact, it is. No, it's the cargo bay. It's very much the cargo bay. Maybe we should have put a larger one on there. Uh, we need to change destination back to Pyaxlin, which should hopefully have. Ooh, I say hopefully, uh, which will have up here an unloader, which dumps all the stuff straight down here. We've not done anything with the mud or polluted dirt at any point. Seven tons of dirt of mud, 19.4 tons of polluted dirt. We should send that polluted dirt onto somewhere that would like it. Uh, I think even Irigal feeding the polluted dirt to the the row over here, the poke shells, because they do indeed eat polluted dirt. Mmm, yes. Maybe we actually just need to get a rocket flying from here, uh, because here, here's Irigal, and there's a whole bunch of pads, and I bet one of them, salt water, ice, there must be, so there's copper there. No, um, no polluted dirt. That what 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 is this? What is this? All right, well may, maybe that's not the way we can do it. We're gonna we're gonna have to use this swamp field. Okay, Compton, uh, we we need to give you skills as well. That's the that's the other thing we're missing. So Compton, hello. We want to go uh, that one at least, and uh, you know, put your little put, put your little chef's hat on. That's that's very important. Very. Oh, oh, he's going all the way to the uh, to the arch for it. I mean, I'm I'm down about this. I am down. Uh, about this. All right. Well, welcome, welcome to the colony, Compton. I, I hope you have a good time. Uh, neither you or Chandra at the moment have a have a bed, so we, we should we should get on with moving everybody to this side. Poke shells. <laughs> Okay, it took a lot longer than I was expecting, but was the push worth it? Was there a reason for us to come over here? We've got just little bits that we can go for up here. Of course, Hubble can't build. We know this. So uh, let, let's get Spitzer on it as quick as possible. I think Spitzer can dig through everything up there, so that should be fine. And we'll, we'll just let Hubble carry on digging down into the uh, into the abyss down here. I, I think... I think that'll work out fine. Uh, where is Spitz? Oh, everybody's going to get involved, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I suppose that that's fine. That's, that, in fact, is very good. The other thing I'd like to get them to do is just mop up all this water at some point, but that, that might take a while. Wow, nine kilos of oxygen. Nine kilos of oxygen, six. Okay, well, maybe that'll push back all of this bad bad carbon dioxide we've got here. One of the big problems we had was the fact that uh, people people were suffering. People were suffering down here, so we couldn't get them out. Uh, we couldn't get them enough oxygen down this way, so the, the jobs weren't happening fast enough. Uh, but thankfully now, yeah, everything seems to be working well. And we've got Oxyfern. Beautiful. We're going to leave that pip there, though. I'm, I'm worried about killing my pips. <laughs> Okay, Pyaxlin has come back. I missed the uh, the actual landing, but I do see all the cobalt ore dropping on the floor. So we've got one of these m m uh, launching a whole bunch of stuff to Iragao, and the uh, what that is actually sent is dictated by what the uh, the filter is set to here. Oh, indeed, we've already got it set to cobalt ore, which means surely. When we've got through all these gristle berries, thankfully we stopped sending them over now. So uh, once we've got through all those and produced enough rad bolts to send more on their way, we should probably upgrade this rad bolt generator at some point. Maybe we could even uh, have a nuclear rocket. So when it takes off, we charge the rad bolt. Ooh, that might that might be a thing. Uh, but the 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 loop that we want to happen now is the cobalt ore going into the box, which then fires it back to Irigal. And if I spot any of the uh, of the missiles traveling from here to here i'll let you know oh uh, and straight away straight away this has already been finished took a little bit longer than i would have liked i just like all critter eggs any and all critter eggs if people could go and grab them okay everybody's got some no Hom uh, compton and hubble are saying no so there's only a couple of eggs to be found but that's good i want i want them all i want them all uh, after we've done this i think i'm just gonna have to kill this guy because he uh he's gonna get angry as soon as the pintro get dropped so maybe hubble can come along and deal with that right now that that would be great hubble of course as my primary digger is the guy with the highest combat skill this this, uh, he's not going to come out well of this. The, the, this this poke shell is going to fight back. Look, there we go. There we go. Losing damage to it. But hopefully we're... Oh, Hubble, what's what's wrong? Why, why are you running away from... Oh, because you'd already done your job. Good work. Good work. Okay, so that, that's the two eggs that were available. We'll slowly but surely move the whole population up there like that. We could also... I, I've 
just just had a brainwave. We could use the critter critter drop off point. Uh, I I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's put it up to a nine, and then of course we do need a second one, uh, and we need to put that. Oh, we'll need to put a door up. That, that's fine. I can I can do a door. I can do a door. Uh, and then we need a second critter drop-off point to separate. The door was to separate this area from the rest of the area. So that when I pop this down, I mean literally ju just here will be fine. And then we can set this so that all of these pinch, all of these uh, poke shell will come over and be herded. I think these poke shell, I mean this guy literally just jumped up and down. Yeah, look, look at this. So they, they should all be able to make their way over to this drop-off point. This guy can't. We're going to have to deal with him separately. Okay, so Compton has finished this critter drop-off. I'm going to just turn this down to zero and go auto-wrangle the excess because if we have a look at the top here, I've already set up a critter drop-off to be able to accept a whole bunch of poke shells. So uh, let, let's just be like, hey, who? No, 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 no. Go, go, go. It's going to be Spitzer ranching the whole time. Okay, that's fine. I mean, may maybe maybe we should leave this till tomorrow. Let let's leave this till tomorrow. Sp Spitzer's going to try. Oh, no, he he's done now. But th this will be an interesting thing to see what happens tomorrow. I also want to get this guy. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a whole load that we need to try and move. Uh, and we're going to do that by shuffling this uh, critter drop-off around. Uh, we'll get these three first and then get this one. And I, I don't know if there's any more immediately available. Looking at... At this it says there's seven but I, I i don't know i count four uh, five here of course six is the uh the shine bug seven is this shine bug okay all right we, we have located all seven speaking of locating there's a uh, there's a, a a geyser of some description over here it's a steam vent oh that's that's gonna be hot we could we could just throw a bunch of um steam steam generators over the top of that get some get some good clear water out of it oh that'd be good Ooh, our first cobalt ore delivery has arrived. Oh, that's good. Let's put that in uh, empty storage and see who is going to get to that. In fact, who is going to get to that? Let's have a look at the errands. As soon as that auto save kicks over. Okay, here we go. And then we have a look. Uh, I mean, that's it's pretty pretty low down on everybody's list. Let's let's get Hubble on it, shall we? I think that's a good idea. Okay, we had to swap to Chandra halfway through, but there we go. That's uh, Cobalt or made a delivery. That's that that's amazing. It's more amazing that it landed next to the beacon when the beacon had been powered off. So that that's that's also cool. Which means at any time we could just like grab a door and be like, oh, aluminium. Where's the where's the Cobalt option? Look, there it is. Why can't I have it? Oh, because we only sent seventy. Ah, well, next one. Next one will be better. All right, Spitz is on their way down to start bagging up the uh, the critters here. Do you reckon he's going to try and call one of these ones over here? Right? Oh, no, no, he is going for this one closest. Okay, that's great. I was really worried that that wouldn't be the case. Uh, the poke shell, oblivious. Oblivious to the life it's about to lead. Uh, can we also turn this one up? Is that is that something we can do? I don't know whether this actually needs to be high or whether the other one's good enough. Uh, let's have a look. No, no one's got an errand there. But what about? So we we should we're not auto wrangling over here. So someone should be relocating at some point. I don't know who. I don't know when. I don't know how. I also don't know why this isn't happening again. Spitzer, what are you doing? You're grabbing breath. Okay, fair fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, there's number two. We just got just got one more to get this this little guy over here. As soon as Spitzer finishes like his oxygen break. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, that's number three. That that is beautiful. But like, who's who's actually gonna move these guys? That's that's the real question I've got here. Okay, some. Some, something weird just happened here. I don't I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't know. I don't think it was either of these mods. I don't think so at all. So it put me back to the morning, which was kind of expected. Um, but today, the thing that is not expected is Compton wasn't able to actually wrangle any of the creatures. Every time any of them got close, he had to go and grab some breath. Now, I understand we are a little bit strapped for oxygen down here. So I'm going to see if I can't build a... Uh, let's, let's have a look in here. We want a carbon skimmer. We 
don't want the, the quick save. Ah. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to move this as well. Let's, let's, let's move it closer to the door. Uh, so we want oxygen, carbon skimmer. I said door. There's no door here. You know there's no door here. And the water sieve is the other thing I want. Okay, beautiful. This should now enable us to set up some sort of like infinite cleaning loop where we just whoop, go up there and down this way. Uh, and then we'll, we'll make it duplicate powered. That That's almost certain there. Uh, and then we can start clearing out some of the uh, carbon dioxide that's down here because that is the killer. Whilst we take a moment to contemplate the non-repeatability of this game, you know, we played, played the game the exact same way and we got a different result. I want to take this moment right here and thank the people that keep my life nice and repeatable. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that got along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my computer and my games can move on comfortably into the future. Especially with the release of certain space sims that have come out recently. I'm looking to upgrade my PC and it's entirely down to these wonderful, wonderful people that I'm able to do so. So thank you, every single one of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we got the whole uh, system sorted to clear out all the carbon dioxide, but of course, there's other gases we have to deal with and the hydrogen's gonna spread far, but I'm, I'm really trying to get the oxygen down here. So I think the next thing we need to do, uh, do, we sh do we just try and ship it across? Okay, we're just gonna pump the raw, unfiltered atmosphere from one side to the other. Should enable Spitzer to uh, come along and grab these guys now. We've got, we've got oxygen closely available now, so th this should make things a little bit better, I'm hoping. Of course, the end of the day, like, ah, ha, ha, the end of the day is always, always my downfall. Oh wait, is Spitzer even going to get one of them today? I I don't know. I don't know. This this might be a bit of a. It's not. It's never a lost cause because we're we're definitely going to get this done. But th this is definitely not been as smooth as the first time we did it. Okay, the oxygen is like achingly close now, but still it takes so long for the poke shells to wander on over that by the time uh, Spitzer is, is is done whistling, he, he, he's already like run out of uh, all his breath. So uh, here we go. We've got one again and and again, just just before we finish. That, that's that's seems to be the way at the moment. Hopefully it's this one that's going to be lured over. No, of course not. It's, it's this one all the way over here. Man, that first time, everything just fell into place. Oh, Spitzer. Uh, I suppose we could put maybe some sort of door up here and try and make it so that they can't go the other way. I don't I don't know how to confine them to one spot. Uh, let, let's try... Hmm... Okay, why well, Spitzer keeps on luring them over here and hopefully keeps them somewhat uh, grouped up. I'm going to get another couple of duplicates in to, uh, to try and drop a wall in place. And of course, all of them are going to end up on the wrong side of this wall. Um, yeah. Chandra, can you move over? Uh, P9 them for the moment. P9 them for the moment. I mean, if they do all end up on this side of the wall, we'll just move the critter, uh, critter drop off. But man... That's that's not great. Okay, we caught two of them. Two, two of them's better than none. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Hopefully Spitzer, as soon as he's done breathing, will come along and wrangle one of these two up. Unless this one's going to be like jump, jump, jump all the way over. Ah, Spitzer's starving because we've not given him a chance to go eat for uh, a very long time. Okay, well, we'll, we'll try and try and do this again, I suppose. Which, which Why is it always the one furthest away? I feel like... Oh, actually, it wasn't this time. I was going to say, I feel like that's uh, really starting to become unfair now. Almost unfair in the same way that my uh, volcanoes keep going dormant at just the same time as when I uncover them. Okay, two of them. Hype. Let's uh, turn that off and let Spitzer go eat. And hopefully... Oh man, Hubble is already on it. This is, this is it. This is, this is what we've been trying to do for all this time. It was just going to be a tiny thing that we did, in, did at the beginning of the episode and now it's turned into a whole big thing because of that weird crash. Okay, we've got this guy out from the, off of his ledge. I built another tile here so I didn't have to build the uh, critter drop off on top of the oxy fern and i mean what are we really waiting for a shine bug okay that that's fine i suppose it's not quite what i was expecting uh and then he runs away to do something else okay oh well i'm sure i'm glad he decided of his own free will to ca are we ca are we calling for another 
Oh, they, they, I've, got, I've just got to leave the uh, leave the alert on now. I think. <laughs> Okay, so we, we got the poke shell. That, that's good. That's good. Hopefully someone's going to come along and drop off our creature over here. It says no pending deliveries. I don't, what, what's this guy then? Okay, but Hubble immediately got on it as soon as the game recognized. Uh, we also want to do this one down here. Oh, and that, that would then be all of the poke shells. Okay, that's the last one put in its, uh, its pen. I'm sure at some point we'll come along and make this much nicer, but today we have suffered from crashes, setbacks, and weirdness. I really was expecting to get some of the buildings built over here. We could easily just throw in toilets, bedroom. Uh, in fact, we're going to have a bunch of bedrooms over here and then toilets in the middle and then workstations after that big up and down corridor right here. In fact, we can just do that, make that happen. But I will see you next time when we're going to make all of that happen. Bye.